this is Mrs. Reichelt, and we are now in the muscles of the lower limb. So these next ones are going to be the muscles of lower limb. So the first one that we're going to go through is the gluteus maximus. Um, gluteus maximus, um, the grouping, is that it's going to be um, movement at the hip. So movement at hip. Um, so the description is that it's a superficial and fleshy muscle. Superficial and fleshy. The origin is the sacrum and the ilium. And then the insertion is the femur and it helps to extend the hip like if you were climbing stairs or jumping um, so that's the primary action of the gluteus maximus um, then next up we have the gluteus medius which is pictured right over here okay the gluteus medius this is a great injection site so it's a great injection site because it is, um, you don't have any major nerves or anything that you could hit really. It's also pretty fleshy, um, so it's a great injection site. Um, the origin is the ilium. The insertion is the femur, and it helps to abduct the thigh and um, helps to steady the pelvis when you're walking. Um, let's see, the next one here is the iliopsoas, and I actually don't have a picture of that labeled here. Let's see if my other pictures have one here. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, the iliopsoas, you have a major, which is right here, okay, so it's all of this right here, okay, the iliopsoas, um, the grouping is the movement at hip, and I'm not sure if I told you gluteus medius, that was also movement at hip, so I'm sorry if I skipped that, um, so the iliopsoas, is the movement at hip. The description is that it's a fused muscle. The origin is the ilium and the lumbar vertebrae. The insertion is the femur and the action is that it will adduct And it also will rotate the thigh. Okay, so next up, I'm actually going to have to go back to the previous slide. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the hamstrings. So there are three different hamstrings. Um, we're just going to go through the entire group. Um, and the hamstring group, there are actual group is going to be the movement at the knee. Um, the description is that it's located in the posterior, posterior thigh. Um, the origin is the ischial tuberosity. The insertion is the tibia and the action is to flex the knee and extend the hip also deals with thigh extension as well okay so now we're moving on the anterior side okay so our next up is our sartorius the sartorius is right here um, it's going to be a 
movement at the knee. This is um, a strap-like muscle and it's known as the tailor's muscle. The reason if um, you're sitting crisscross, um, applesauce that way, or your legs crossed, or Indian style, or however you say it, um, that's the muscle that um, tailors use when they were sitting cross-legged and hemming pants. Um, that's what your book talks about. So it talks about the, being the tailor's muscle. The origin is the ilium. Whoops, I-L-I-U-M. Okay, the insertion is the tibia and it is going to flex the thigh on the hip. Okay, so next up here we have the quadricep group. So we have all of the quads, the femoris, um, lateralis, and medialis. So we have all of the different quads. Um, we're just going to talk about them as the group of three. The, the last quad is under the rectus femoris, so you can't see it from this angle, but when you go through and actually color them, you will be able to see them. Um, this is going to be a movement Whoops, at the knee as well. The origin is the femur and the pelvis. And the insertion is the tibia, and it helps to extend the knee, flex the hip, and the thigh. Okay, so we are almost done here. We're flying through the rest of these. Uh, so let's see, the next one I have on my list is the tibialis anterior, so that means I am... Oh, here we go. Okay, so the tibialis anterior um, deals with movement at the foot. It is a superficial muscle. So this is the group, by the way. It's a superficial muscle. The origin is the tibia, and the insertion are the metatarsals and it helps to dorsiflex and invert the foot. Next one here also on the anterior side is the extensor digitorum longus. This is also a movement at the foot. By the way, all the ones that we're going to go through are all going to be movement at the foot ones. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, extensor digitorum longus, movement at foot. Um, the description is that it's, um, whoops, lateral to the tibialis anterior. The origin is going to be the tibia and the insertion are the toes and this one is going to help to extend the toes. Then we get into the fibularis muscles and the fibularis muscles are a group of three so you have fibularis longus brevis, and then you also have tertius, except for you can't see it from this angle. Oh, nope, there it is. So you have the um, fibularis longus, brevis, and tertius. These ones also movement at the foot. They're three muscles. They form a lateral part of the leg. The origin is the fibula. The insertion are the metatarsals. These ones are going to help to plantar flex the foot. 
and also to evert the foot as well. Okay, next up we have the gastrocnemius, also going to be movement at the foot. This is going to form the, the curve of the calf, okay, so your calf muscle. The origin is the femur, the insertion is the heel, and it will help to plantar flex the foot and also flex the knee. And then last up, we have the soleus. This is deep to the gastrocnemius, which is up here. So it's deep to the gastrocnemius. The origin is the tibia and the fibula. And then the insertion is the heel. This one is going to plantar flex the foot. And that wraps up all of the muscles that you have to know.